Are you a brand new Tesla Model 3 owner and you're seeing a lot of unexplained phantom drain and you're wondering if your battery is degrading already? Let me share with you what the cause might be. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find my videos helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. A common question that a new Tesla Model 3 owner will be asking is, I am seeing a lot of unexplained draining on my car battery when I'm not using it. Is there something wrong with my new car? Is there a defect on the battery? How do I make it stop? Rest assured that I was just like you almost two years ago when I took delivery of my rear wheel drive long range Tesla Model 3. For the first several weeks, I remember that every day I am checking my app and I'm seeing that my battery just keeps going down, 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 down. And I believe it was draining anywhere between three to 5%, which was significant. I was freaking out. So I understand exactly what you're going through if you are seeing this issue as well. I bugged Tesla and it went as far as to having a Tesla engineer actually returning my call and explaining the situation to me, which put me at ease. Basically, what's happening is, and this is true not just for Tesla cars, but for all electric vehicle, is that initially for the first few months, at least that was the case for my car, your car battery is still calibrating. It is learning your usage habit and your driving habit. And so initially you will experience unexplained phantom draining at a much higher rate. However, after a while, it should stabilize and the draining will become minimal. I can testify to that because now, almost two years later, my car's phantom drain is almost non-existent. Granted, in the last two years, there have been incidents where my car would still do some phantom draining, but it was not as ugly and bad as in the beginning. So if you just took delivery of your car in the last month or so, and you're having this issue, take a deep breath. It is quite normal as I've come to learn. Just keep using your car, keep driving it. And in a couple of months, things should start to stabilize. While it is normal for your car battery to experience this phantom drain much worse early on in your ownership, there are actually five other factors that I can think of and I have also experienced myself that added on to this issue. The first factor is that you keep opening up your Tesla app and waking up your car to check on it. I know I make the same mistake as a brand new owner because my old gas car did not have the ability allowing me to remotely monitor my car using an app. So in the beginning, I was so excited and I kept opening up my Tesla app several times throughout the day just to see how much the battery may be. Not realizing that each time when I call up the app, it is connecting to the car and waking the car up so the car does not go into a sleep state. And because the car is awake, it kept draining battery. So I know it is very hard to resist if you can, just think of it as your old gasoline car that you just park it and don't even think about it. Do not check your app throughout the day. Maybe once a day, twice a day is fine, but not 
every hour. This will help to minimize the drain. The next three factors that would cause phantom drain have something to do with your car setting and the functionalities of the car. The first one is actually sentry mode. If you do have sentry mode turned on most of the time, it will drain the car battery a lot faster than when it is off. What I do is I have sentry mode enabled only when I am not parked at work or at home because that's where I spend the majority of my time at and that is where my car is parked at most of the time. So I would only enable sentry mode when I am away from home or away from work. You can also enable this to exclude your favorite locations, let's say you go visit your parents or you go visit your friend and you know it is a safe location and you do not wish to enable sentry mode, then you can tick that and sentry mode would not come on. I have done this sentry mode draining experiment about a year ago and I found that it was draining at about one mile per hour rate. So as you can imagine, if you leave sentry mode on most of the time throughout the day, it's going to drain your battery a lot faster. The next setting is the cabin overheat protection setting. Initially, I had this turned off because I was so freaked out about how much my battery was draining throughout the day. But a year ago, I decided to turn this on because I have observed that during summertime and I have to leave my car parked outside, sometimes the internal temperature could reach as high as 156 degrees Fahrenheit. I thought it is much better to turn on cabin overheat protection to protect the electronics inside the car instead of worrying about battery draining. Keep in mind though that this feature would only be on when your car exceeds 105 degrees Fahrenheit of interior temperature. So if it's below that, the AC won't come on and the car wouldn't be draining battery. But as you can imagine, if you leave this feature on and you leave your car parked outside for several hours on a hot summer day, the AC will keep kicking in and AC drains a lot more battery than when it is off. So it is up to you to turn this on or off, but for me, I feel that it is much more worth it to leave it on and protect the interior of the car. The fourth factor is for those who have purchased the full self-driving option or FSD option, and it has something to do with the smart summon feature. There is an option for you to put smart summon on a standby mode, which will drain more battery. What the standby mode of the smart summon feature does is it will keep your car at an awakened and alert state so that when you are using the smart summon feature, it is going to respond to your command much faster than when it is asleep. Just as sentry mode, you can exclude locations like your work, home, and favorite locations. But for me personally, since I don't use this feature as often as others, I just keep it off at all times. Let's say that you have sentry mode on, you have your cabin overheat protection on, and you have the smart summon standby mode on. What happens to the battery will just keep draining your car down to zero? And the answer is actually no. For all these software settings in your car, those settings will automatically be turned off as soon as your car detects that the battery is falling at 20% or below. So you can rest assured that your car battery is not going to drain all the way down to 0% just because you forgot to turn off those features. The last culprit for causing phantom drain is actually third-party applications and websites that will connect to your car and collecting data, giving you information about the car. Initially, when I took delivery of my car, I used a website called Teslafy. 
and I found out that whatever I do, the car would not go into a sleep state, even though you could configure it. My car kept waking up and it was draining a lot of the battery. As soon as I abandoned that website, changed my password, the phantom drain got a lot better. Nowadays, I use an app called Stats. It's only available on Apple devices, unfortunately, but when you are looking for these third-party supplemental apps to extrapolate additional data and information on your Tesla, make sure you talk to the developers before you decide to purchase these apps, how much will the app drain? the battery. That was the very first question I asked of the stats developer before I decided to get the app is, hey, will this drain my car battery like Teslafy? And the developer assured me that every time I open up the stats app, the energy that's draining from my car battery is equivalent to only a couple seconds of turning the heat on. And I have been using the Stats app for over a year now and I can assure you that it does not contribute to Phantom Drain in any way. So if you do have apps like Teslafy connected to your car, make sure you check the connection and maybe just do an experiment of changing your Tesla password so that it disconnects from Teslafy from pulling data from your car and see if it'll help with the phantom drain. And speaking of the developer of the Stats app, his name is Raman. He published a pretty technical article about battery degradation in electric vehicles and specifically for Teslas. I'm not going to get into detail on that because it is very technical, very data driven. I am linking the article down below that you can read for yourself. But the biggest takeaway that I got from that article and his analysis is the battery degradation will be a lot more pronounced a newer vehicle, meaning when you first get your Tesla or an electric vehicle, the first year or two, you are going to see battery degradation a lot faster. And after a while, the degradation will actually plateau and stabilize. So if you think that your new Tesla battery is degrading fast, it is actually normal. I am sharing a screenshot of my stats app of my battery health. And as you can see, now I am at about 17,000 miles in usage. My battery is starting to trend down just a little bit. However, I am confident that years from now, my car battery health trend is not going to go down like this, but it's going to be flat like this. If you want to learn more about battery drain while using your Tesla and why the miles driven do not match up to the EPA rated range of your battery, you can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week and God bless you.